shall see the Lord face to face, and bear his name on their foreheads. And the night shall be no more. They will need no light from lamps or the sun. For the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign forever. For our sake, Christ was obedient, except even death. For our sake, Christ was obedient, except even death. A reflection in the piece on homily by St. Felito of Sardis, a bishop. There was much proclaimed by the prophets about the mystery of the Passover, that mystery is Christ, and to him be glory forever and ever. Amen. For the sake of suffering humanity, he came down from heaven to earth, clothed himself in that humanity in the virgin's womb, and was born in man. Having then a body capable of suffering, he took the pain of fallen man upon himself. He triumphed over the diseases of soul and body that were its cause. And by his spirit, which was incapable of dying, he dealt man's destroyer, death, a fatal blow. He was led forth like a lamb. He was slaughtered like a sheep. He ransomed us from our servitude to the world as he had ransomed Israel from the land of Egypt. He freed us from our slavery to the devil, as he had freed Israel from the hand of Pharaoh. He sealed our souls with his own spirit, and the members of our body with his own blood. He is the one who covered death with shame and cast the devil into mourning, as Moses cast Pharaoh into mourning. He is the one who spoke sin and robbed iniquity of offspring. He is the one who brought us out of slavery to freedom, out of darkness into light, out of death into life, out of tyranny into an eternal kingdom, who made us a new priesthood, a people chosen to be his own forever. He is the Passover that is our salvation. It is he who endured every kind of suffering in all those who had foreshadowed him. In Abel he was slain, in Isaac bound, in Jacob exiled, in Joseph, sold, in Moses, exposed to die. He was sacrificed in the Passover lamb, persecuted in David, dishonored in the prophets. It is he who was made man of the virgin, he who was hung on the tree. It is he who was buried in the earth, raised from the dead, and taken up to the heights of heaven. He is the mute lamb, the slain lamb, the lamb born of Mary, the fair youth. He was seized from the flock, dragged off to be slaughtered, sacrificed in the evening, and buried at night. On the tree, no bone of his was broken. In the earth, his body knew no decay. He is the one who rose from the dead and who raised man from the depths of the tomb.
Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Our bless, O Lord, while we sleep, and keep us in peace. Let us pray. you to visit this house and banish from it all deadly power of the enemy. May your holy angels fall here to keep us in peace, and may your blessing be upon us always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Oh, oh, oh.